Hi folks, how's it going? It's Barry from My Virgin Kitchen and I'm here today with Binny from Sweet Human Cookery Ooh. School and we're making some amazing... Chapatis! Chapatis! Oh, they're called Rodley. Rodley? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> they look amazing, don't they? And Binny here showed me exactly how to make them so you can have a go at home too. So what are the ingredients for you? All you need is chapati flour, that's one. Oil, oil. vegetable oil. Vegetable oil and hot water from the kettle that's been boiled. First step to making the chapati is you need to make... The dough. Yes. So you need to add your flour to your bowl, drizzle some oil mm -hmm. over the top of that flour. Could that be any oil or vegetable oil or...? Vegetable oil, rapeseed oil, any of those. Okay. Perfect. Not olive oil, but everything else. Yep. You then use your hand, one hand only, and give it a mix. And so you mix it in like so, and yep. then uh, from there, you then use hot water. Yep. You need to make a well in your, your with your mix hands, yeah. and then add the water in. The hot water just allows the dough to form better. Sometimes when you use the cold water, it just makes it really stretchy and really right. difficult to handle. So if you want to make your own homemade Stretch Armstrong toy, whoosh, use the cold water. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. <laughs> Sorry. So once you've got your dough roughly formed, then you can really start to shape it, kind of like the scene from Ghost. Just imagine this is the scene from Ghost right there, but you've got <laughs> you've got dough instead. Make sure with, when you've made form the dough that your whole bowl is nice and clean and tidy. Then take about a teaspoon of the oil and place it over the top, and then you're going to knead that in so it's nice and smooth. And that's what you want. It's a lovely smooth dough. You kind of grab the creases and like push them in push with your thumbs. In, push it in. You want yeah. that lovely sort of smoothness around yeah. the edges. Get the dowry nice and hot and then slap the chapati on the top. Slap it. Wait for it to turn from white to brown. Twist it with your fingertips so it cooks evenly. It is important not to puncture it at this point with any of your nails. Once it bubbles, flick it over using your fingertips and so it cooks evenly on the other side. With your bubbles both sides of your chapati, what you need to do is get a jarry, uh, which is like a really cool thing. Do you know what? You could actually make your own. Could you? You can. Wow. Just use like an old coat hanger. That's amazing. Yeah. Get an old coat hanger, don't buy one, and then <laughs> do this. Yay! High five! High five! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Ah! Ah! Oh yeah! Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> Multitask! Yeah, yeah! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how delicious those chapatis are. I really hope you give them a try. Please check out Binny's website. And I've got a question for you. If you were to make a chapati, uh, would you A, get all the honey on your shorts? Can you see that down there? You might have just seen my groin, sorry about that. But what would you put on your chapati? Let me know down below, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!